welcome to our online class. How are you doing? I trust you are staying safe. Today, our subject is basic science. And our topic here is water animals and plants. Class is grade one. Our learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to define water animals one, two. You should be able to define water plants. Number three, you should be able to list five examples of water animals and water plants. We first of all will be looking at the meaning of water animals. We'll be focusing only on water animals. We have other animals like land animals, but today we'll be learning water animals. So let's look at the definition. Water animals are animals that live in water, river, lake, sea, ocean, etc. Let's, let me read it again. Water animals are animals that live in water, like river, lake, sea, ocean, etc. Because we have other waters. So we're now looking at examples of water animals. What are the examples of water animals? We have a lot of them. But for this lesson, we just be learning just few. So one, I have fish. The second one is octopus. The third one here is shark. And the fourth one here is crawfish, etc. We're looking at the pictures of the water animals. Here with me, I have octopus. Look at the picture here. So wherever you see it, you'll be able to recognize it. The, the second one here is fish. I believe you know fish, you have been eating fish and you have been seeing fish. So this is one of water animals, is fish. The third one is shark. Have you ever seen a shark before? If you have not, look at it here. Look at the picture. It lives in water. Is that clear? Are you following? Okay. The next one here is crayfish. What did I say? Crayfish. Many of us, our parents, mommy, use crayfish. And they live where? In water. And look at the picture here. I guess you're following. Okay? We'll be looking at the meaning of water plant. Water plant live and grow in water. Let's say it again. Say it with me. Water plant live and grow in water. Don't forget, we'll be looking at examples of water plants. Here I have one water lily. Two, water lettuce. Three, water hyacinth. I have curly pound weed. Curly pound weed. The last one here I have cartel. I told you we have a lot of water plants, but for this lesson, we only be looking at these five. Okay? Now we are going to look at the pictures here. As you can see, we have water lily. Look at the picture here. Have you seen it before? If you have not seen it before, look at it here. And the second one is water lettuce. Look at it here. They're always in the water. They grow, bear branches in the water. The next one is water hyacinth. Look at the water hyacinth here. They, are also, they also grow in water. The next one is curly pound weed. Look at the curly pound weed here. If you have not seen it before, you can look at the picture here. Okay? The next one here is cartel. It also lives in the water. If you have not seen it before, also you can look at the picture. I told you before that water animals are animals that live in water. River, lake, sea, ocean, etc. And I also mentioned some of the 
examples of water animals as a fish, octopus, shark, and crayfish, etc. And I also gave you the pictures and the examples here, as you can see them. And we also move to the meaning of water plant, which I said, water plant live and grow in water. As you can see, the examples are still here. We have them here. So I'm going to now, I also gave you the pictures of all the example written on the board, as you can see them here. So now we'll be looking at this assignment. List five examples of water animals. You have your spaces here to write them. You have many, I told you. You shouldn't look at the ones I have given you. Also look at some of them that I have not written here. Number two, we have write five examples of water plants. So I wish you the, all the best. I want you to stay good and be safe. Bye.